BYU's 2020 Mars Rover team has built upon our successes from last year by optimizing the electrical, mechanical, and software systems of the robot. Improving on last year's weaknesses will help us excel in the equipment servicing, extreme retrieval, science, and autonomous traversal missions. We are confident in our ability to perform well at 2020's Mars Rover competition. This year's team is innovating new designs to build on our successes from 2019. Due to the high performance of last year's chassis, we kept the design as the foundation of this year's remotely operated mobile platform. Our chassis is a rocker bogey system which utilizes a differential bar to ensure good wheel-to-ground contact, including across uneven terrain. Slight modifications to last year's model ensure the chassis can be folded to fit within a 1.2 meter square area by using integrated pins. The system weighs less than 50 kilograms in any modular configuration and under 70 kilograms as a full system. The chassis' integrated electrical system uses serial communication to control six individual wheel motors, ensuring flexibility in control design and robust reset abilities in case of individual motor failure. Our rover also uses a newly designed lithium-ion battery pack, which powers the rover at minimal weight cost while providing high-density energy. The battery is made up of 65 individual 18650 cells that, in conjunction with our onboard voltage regulation, can power the rover for more than two hours of heavy operation. For safety and resiliency, individual cells are spot welded together with built-in fuses to avoid a complete battery failure and supports an external kill switch in case of emergency. A complete redesign of the arm showcases a linear actuator that moves the arm in a vertical motion, allowing the rover to easily lift items over 7 kilograms. Our three-link arm uses planar motion to make tasks such as opening drawers or cabinet doors much easier. A wrist with three motors simplifies difficulties presented when reorienting to grasp handles or reposition objects. The newly designed gripper uses two linearly actuated fingers to perform a variety of tasks. The fingers are mounted onto a lead screw that utilizes both right and left hand threads, allowing a single motor to easily open or close the grip. A small appendage on the end of the fingers allows the user to tighten screws, push buttons, or type on a keyboard with ease. The arm's control system is designed to make operation of the arm during tasks both intuitive and quick. When large movements are needed, the operator can use a software package called MoveIt to easily drag the arm to a desired position without needing to manage individual joints. Our LiDAR module creates 3D models of the environment and nearby objects, making movement planning rapid and safe. When more precise movements are needed, the gripper's position can be controlled by Cartesian commands or joint-by-joint -joint control. This year's science team has created an integrated hardware unit utilizing proven tests from last year and a promising new procedure tailored to correctly identify both extinct and extant life in individual samples. Our FAD coenzyme test will play a large role in the science mission. For each sample tested, under induced lighting from onboard the rover, we will be able to visually detect any FAD present in the sample, which is an indication of living organisms. We also perform a CO2 test, where we grow cells in a gas-tight chamber using a soil sample and a nutrient broth. If we detect changes in the carbon dioxide levels, this indicates the presence of life. Each individual test on this year's science module provides unique information regarding the possible indication of life. By monitoring the consistency between results, we ensure the reliability of our data. These tests and our knowledgeable science team will lead to high success in the science task. Improved antenna configuration and video hardware encoding have vastly improved our real-time communication to allow up to 25 megabits per second at a distance of over 2 kilometers, even without line of sight. Between the rover and base station, we use a configurable 900 MHz signal with an 8 MHz bandwidth, allowing for simultaneous camera feeds without latency. A motorized antenna at the base station tracks and follows the rover to optimize the direction for best signal strength. With quick setup of the base station and rover, we can be competition ready in under 15 minutes. Our autonomy team is using a real-time kinematic GPS system, which operates on the WGS84 standard. The library we use allows the base station to send correction signals to the rover. This enables the rover to achieve centimeter accuracy, allowing reliable navigation to any given GPS coordinates. Our AR tag recognition system, which includes a depth camera and a custom search pattern, finds AR tags which our rover can correctly identify from over 10 meters away. With a LiDAR laser rangefinder to assist in detecting and avoiding objects, traversing difficult terrain to autonomously reach competition markers is no problem. An LED light array on the back of the rover indicates whether operation is autonomous or manual. With the work and efforts performed this year, we are confident BYU's 2020 rover is as ready as ever for this year's URC competition.